In 2088, ASEAN Coordinating Council ACC, pulled out a conference entitled Pioneering Sustainable Solutions in E-Waste Management. Researchers and engineers from various countries are being addressed to figure out the solution to reboot, recycle, and reimagine the e-waste management. The leader from Malaysia stands out and takes action in doing research in the current issue. E-waste is a short form of electronic waste and also known as e-scraps. E-waste is the trash generated from broken, obsolete, and surplus electronic devices. The researchers found out that e-waste contains 40% metal, 30% plastic, and the remaining 30% is refractory oxides. It was found that Asia is the main contributor of e-waste. However, the collection and recycling rate of e-waste in Asia is one of the lowest among the other continents. The Minister of NRS acknowledged the issue and entrusted BM to propose the best solution regarding sustainability in e-waste management. A group of chemical engineers from USM suggests that e-waste materials could be recycled in a proper way. The main recycle component that was focused in their solution is the waste printed circuit boards as the PCB are the most valuable component of e-waste due to their high precious metal and base metal content. The metal fractions are refined and recovered in the pre-processing stage using hydrometallurgy, pyrometallurgy, and biometallurgical processes. Engineers from USM decided to choose hydrometallurgical technique due to its promising technique that uses liquid solutions to recover valuable metals from e-waste. The hydrometallurgical technique operates at low temperatures and produces high-purity products. Hydrometallurgical processing mainly involves the use of acids to leach out the metals from e-waste. However, the main focus of them in these hydro operations is the extraction of copper out from the e-waste. There are three steps in the hydrometallurgical technique. In the pretreatment step, hazardous materials are separated from the valuable materials through a manual dismantling process. The e-waste is disassembled into various categories by desoldering the electronic components such as WPCB from the electrical appliances. After the separation process, the e-waste is sent to crusher and grinder to shred the materials mechanically into smaller pieces to increase the contact surface area of e-waste with lixiviant. Then, the crushed e-waste undergoes a segregation process to separate electrical metal components through magnetic separators. Now, the precious metals are ready for the metal recovery process while the non-metal parts are sorted into items that can be recycled. In the metal extraction process, the e-waste which contains valuable metals is immersed with acids such as strong sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen peroxide is usually used as an oxidizing agent and mixed with acid which is the leachant. H2O2 removes the inert chemical covering PCB that prevent lixivians from selectively extracting the metals. Then, the valuable metals are leached into the solutions. Copper reacts with sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide to form copper 2 sulfate and water. Then, the leaching solution is further treated to recover the base metal and precious metal in the product recovery process. Several types of metal recovery methods can be used to extract the targeted metal, copper from the solution using solvent extraction, precipitation method, ion exchange, and electrowinning. However, the electrowinning recovery process is the most suitable to be used to recover copper from the waste. Electrowinning is the electrodeposition of metals from their ores that have been put in solution via a process called leaching. Electrodeposition is used to recover base metals or precious metals from electronic scrap. Electrodeposition is a feasible way of recovery for high percentages of copper in PCBs which allows almost 92.8% of recovery. Lead dioxide at the anode and copper at the cathode are being used to achieve better recovery efficiencies. Dilute sulfuric acid is being used in this process. Optimization of this process can be done by using ceramic separators and establishing an optimum flow rate which can give a 99.53% copper content at the cathode along with gold and silver in the residue. In short, recycling e-waste through hydrometallurgy method uses less energy, reduces environmental impact and costs, making it a sustainable alternative for metal recovery. Recycling of e-waste supports the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, because of its positive economic and environmental impacts. These include goals of decent work and economic growth, sustainable cities and communities, and life below water. The leaders were impressed by the solution proposed by the engineers from USM representing Malaysia. Finally, they dedicate their joint efforts in achieving the goal of a sustainable world.